So I want to talk about the Anthem private beta demo. It's not a beta, it's a demo. That's that's what they called it. Um, the, the, the things I want to talk about, uh, obviously there's going to be some good, there's going to be some bad on here. Um, first things first, the game looks fucking incredible. Uh, it looks really, really good, especially uh, on console. I've seen it on PC and it looks absolutely amazing on PC as well. Secondly, the combat is absolutely incredible. I'm going to touch a little bit more on this later. But the combat is absolutely insane. It, it's really, really good. Um, the story, from what I've seen so far, obviously we've not seen a lot of it. I saw a little bit in the alpha that I wasn't allowed to talk about because I was under NDA from that. Um, I think I still am. Uh, but what we've seen today um, in, the, uh, in the demo uh, also has been really good. I think the writing's quite good as well. Um, it's, it does have a, a, a distinctive Bioware feel, I think. Um, and if you've played a previous Bioware game, I think you'll know what I mean with the fact that the characters are actually... They feel likeable. Um, they feel like the conversations that they're having are genuine and um, something that you actually want to listen to, essentially. Um, but as I said, there are going to be some bad things uh, with this. First of all, uh, anyone that tried to get in on day one knows about the server issues. Um, for me, it was seven and a half hours of attempting to get in, trying to see if we could get logged in at all. Uh, and at the end of the seven and a half hours, I decided to give up and go to bed. And I just tried it again in the morning. I've had some, some rocky performance. I will say it's been absolutely perfect because it hasn't. Uh, we have had some rocky performance, sort of having to quit out with infinite loading screens. Uh, and, and stuff like that, but it, it has, on the flip side, it has been really good from there. When it works, it works. When it doesn't work, it really doesn't work. Which, to say that we are this close to launch, we're about, you know, we're just, done, just over a month away from launch. I know they keep saying that this is a six week old build and everything, but at the same time, this is a VIP demo. This is kind of what people sort of paid money essentially uh, by pre-ordering to access and I know that there's going to be the free demo uh, in a few days from probably from when this video goes up um, as it is probably I think it's a week after this uh, this demo here but on the flip side I just I kind of wish that they'd given us a more recent build I can appreciate it. it's probably not easy to do um, but I, it is something that I do wish that they'd given us but from there, there is a few other things that I want to discuss, and I'm just going to have some clips from in, in the background of uh, me playing my storm while we do go over those. So first things first is traversal, and as a storm, you're able to stay in the air much longer than the other javelins because you've got some sort of like electromagnetic system rather than straight thrusters and you can kind of sort of see the scope of the world it is it's really vertical it's just something i didn't really expect coming from playing destiny um quite a lot but it is really really vertical but obviously what we really want to talk about is combat and in regards to combat as a storm you are mostly in the air and you've got this really cool ultimate ability which I'm showing here, where you sort of you throw down different elemental attacks, and this thing that I'm shoot, shooting at at the moment is like really, really tanky. It takes a lot of damage, uh, but those elemental attacks can combo on the different elements, so you get more damage out of them. Um, I'm playing quite a sort of ranged, heavy build with sort of area denial tools at the moment with the storm, uh, and I'm going to throw out that <laughs> big major attack again here. Um, what I want to say about the combat is it feels really, really fluid. The only thing I want Bioware to change at all about the combat is being able to sort of double tap X to get up in the air and then hold L2 to uh, to aim your gun and have those thrusters kick in that keep you in the air, because currently you have to jump, start flying, and then hold the thrusters, and it can just feel a little bit awkward at the moment. On the flip side of that, you do have a lot of mobility when you are in the air. The flying does feel really good. Um, and as I have said, as a storm, you do tend to play mostly in the air. So having that good sort of aerial combat, having it feel good when you are in the air, is a, is a major It's a major factor. Um, you are, as a storm, you're going to be above the battlefield. You're going to be sort of surveying it. You're going to be able to sort of see who needs help, who needs a wind wall 
in certain places, where the boss is going to be weak, where it's throwing its different attacks out. You're there, essentially, to sort of harass and support. Harass the boss and support the team, essentially. Uh, well, that's how I've been playing Storm. Anyway, you are sort of a glass cannon. You don't have a lot of health. You take a lot of damage if you're in the wrong place. But you can deal so much damage back to enemies that it kind of... It's a fun build to play. Especially when you're out free roaming and you run into other people like I have here that are trying to take down a world boss and you sort of come in, you fly in, you start throwing out crazy abilities that these rangers have never seen before and you start like lightning striking this boss from miles away and like casting fire bolts everywhere. It makes you feel like a proper sort of high-tech space wizard, I guess, is probably the best way of describing it. It's the only way I can really describe it. Um, there are a few other things I want to touch on in this video that we're going to go on to next. Uh, mainly, sort of, the customization aspects and Fort Tarsis. So first things first, with customization, you've got a few different slots on the character itself. First of which is your weapon. I've got a few weapons selected up here, um, and they do come in different rarities. If you've played any sort of MMO before, you understand rarities on weapons. They have different stats, they do different damage, the higher levels, it makes your level overall higher. As a Storm, you've got things called Seals. So the blast seals are sort of like your big uh, L1 abilities. These sort of do a lot of damage uh, generally in a different area. You've got a few sort of different components that you can slot onto the storm uh, and the other javelins. I'm mainly running heat sinks because I like being in the air. I like having that area control above the battlefield. Uh, you also have focus seals and support seals. Now support seals obviously there to support your team. I'm currently running the quickening field, which makes a lot of my abilities sort of go quicker. Uh, so they recharge a little bit quicker and this is my storm at the moment you can customize head chest arms legs uh, And then you can paint it all different colors I'm sort of rocking a little bit of a sort of calluses selected kind of shader from destiny 2 if anyone knows that and this is Fort Tarsus now I have a few issues with Fort Tarsus at the moment there is a crazy Crazy amount of popping in Fort Tarsus. I don't know why because you don't really see it in the actual game But in here it can be insane with the amount of popping that we're getting and I don't really Understand why people on PC have had a few issues with the banners. You can see the banners there going absolutely Mental I don't know what that is about it tends to be when they come out of menus, but it is a little bit strange um but Fort Tarsis, on the other hand, does look really beautiful. I like how the world is sort of integrated into it, and when you want to go start your expedition, you literally just step up to your javelin, and that's it. When it comes down to it, I'm hopeful for what Bioware are going to give us in February. I'm hopeful that it is going to be as good as I want it to be. Still, just a little bit apprehensive there. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.